Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to create a Rails or Ruby on Rails version 3 project and utilize two um, different gems. One uh, is for generating a simple layout uh, and the second one is for uh, authentication. It's, an, uh, it's a system that can get you up and running with a login uh, and registration system just right away and it, it uh, bundles a few um, little functions with it to be able to work with uh, the authentication and through code um, so I'm going to assume that you have uh, Rails installed on the Ruby on Rails website they have a walkthrough of how to do it it's not too hard so now I go uh, change. I'm going to change to the desktop directory. That's where I'm going to cha uh, create my Rails project. And to create a project, we do Rails new, um, Rails tut. That's the project name. It creates a whole bunch of files. And um, before we go on, we're going to do a, a quick gem install. Or actually, we should do sudo gem install um, nifty dash generators um, th that that's the uh, generator bundle that has the layout that I want to use um, you don't have to use the layout it's just it makes things look a little bit nicer and I'll, I would probably use it in the rest of my rails tutorials and uh, it's created by Ryan Bates from rails casts you've probably heard of those if you're if you've um, been at all up to date with the Ruby on Rails community, but anyway, and we're also going to do a sudo gem install um, devise. Devise is the authentication system that we'll be using, and it takes a few seconds. Okay, it's almost done. And uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to open up my editor. And do new project Rails Tut. Okay, move the terminal to the side here. Okay, it looks like that's done. And within the editor, uh, we're going to go into the gem file, and we actually have to include these gems into our project gem. Uh, we have the nifty dash generators, and we have the gem device. And now let's go ahead and run those generators by uh, first going, changing the directory into our tutorial, uh, or sorry, our project directory. And we're going to do Rails G, or you can type out generate. I prefer G because we don't, it's not as much typing. Uh, Rails G, and we're going to do nifty um, colon layout. And you should just type in uh, Y or capital Y for yes, because it's going to ask if you want to uh, overwrite the uh, layout slash, or sorry, uh, app slash view slash layouts slash application.html.rb file, which we haven't done, or we haven't done anything to it otherwise, so there's no reason not to overwrite it. And it's created the files necessary for that. And now we are also going to do a Rails G um, devise colon install. So that will just create all the necessary installation files for our devise authentication system. And uh, at the end of the um, generate command, we have a few instructions from devise. So the first is we want to add this uh, bit of code to... Uh, our config or our environment configuration. In this case, we're in our development configuration, so we can just copy and paste that um, thing from there into our uh, config slash environment slash development rb file. Um, and then also, they want to make sure that you have a root two um, set up. Uh, by default, it's commented out in the Rails environment. So if you go into roots.rb and find that uh, line you'll see a root and then colon two and you'll have a few things here I, I would say that's fine for now um, it just goes to the default like rails welcome page 
and also they want to make sure that you have somewhere in your layout file that you output the flash hash um, which you will kind of learn over time but uh, basically the flash is just like output from the previous page um, and as you can see this the, the nice thing about the uh, nifty layout generator is that the layout um, takes care of outputting flash hash to the page so you don't have to worry about that um, and finally uh, to complete our authentication system we'll do another rails g and it's going to be device and then the model name that we want to use in this case let's just use user because that's a kind of a standard when it comes to user authentication in a website so rails g device user and that'll actually generate quite a few files um, one of them is going to be what's called a database migration if you go into db slash migrate and you'll find this file with a whole bunch of numbers which happens to be the uh, timestamp um, device create users rb this is uh, the database migration that actually creates the table so if you run this um, it'll create the proper table and columns that device will use for the authentication system through the database and then also if you go into models you see a new user.rb file it is a basic model um, file in that it extends active record base other than it has this extra device and then it has a few little tokens in here um, basically this is just saying uh, that you can use this database table to, to authenticate people um, you can allow them to register recover passwords remember themselves and a few other things and then you have some accessible attributes with that you have email password remember me um, so yeah that's basically that and uh, there's one more thing that we need to do before running the application that's that we need to actually create this da database table um, and what all we have to do is do a rake db colon migrate now run this database migration and create that user table as defined in this file and you can see a few uh, quite a few files were created and finally we can just do rails server to actually run the server and we can access that through um, localhost column 3000 okay so it takes us here and we can see that everything is running and if we go to users slash sign underscore in you can see that we have a login system with a nice little layout um, basically device uh, by default kind of intercepts this uh, user's URL and it has a few um, different uh, like uh, secondary URLs of its um, that it uses as well. There's sign in, uh, if you go to sign up, there's sign up and so let's just quickly test it out and then uh, let's do test at myemail.com password I'm just going to use my password, my password, sign up, and sure. And it should automatically uh, log us in. Um, we don't have anything to really verify that, but you noticed how uh, it, uh, Chrome wanted me to remember that password and stuff and actually. Uh, it seems to redirect us back to the home page if we've already signed in so that we can't like try to sign in again so uh, that's about all for this tutorial um, I will be posting links in the description box uh, to the two different gems I used on github and also um, uh, check out my blog and Twitter account. All of the links are in the description box. And if you liked this video, please subscribe. I'll have some more Rails tutorials uh, coming soon. Uh, thanks for watching.